am Dr. Mohammad Rafi, Associate Professor, Department of Cyber Security at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I want to discuss about the socket programming. Basics of socket programming. Socket programming is a key API for programming distributed applications on the internet. Program. A program is an executable file which is residing on a disk in a directory. Generally, a program can be formed with a set of instructions. So, it is a reading, writing operation so can be done with the other programming. Socket, the programming. A programming is a read into memory and is executed by the kernel as at the result of exe execution file. The execution file has six variants, but we only consider the simplest the form that is a exe function. In this socket, the programming process. The goals of this uh, the socket uh, the programming are process, file, the descriptor. Here the process. A process is a the goal of the socket uh, the programming. An execution, the instance of a program is called a process. Sometimes task is used instead of the process with the same meaning. A Unix the guarantees that every process has a unique identifier called as the process ID. The process ID is always a non-negative integer and file as a descriptor. File descriptors are normally very small non-negative integers that the kernel uses to identify the uh, files being accessed by a particular the process. Whenever it opens an existing file, or creates a new file, the kernel returns a file descriptors that is used to read or write the file into processor. As well as we will see in this uh, socket as uh, a programming, sockets are based on a very similar other uh, mechanism that is a socket uh, descriptors. Client server model. Next, uh, the goal of the socket programming is client server model. The client server model is one of the most used communication uh, paradigm in the network system. Client normally is uh, communicated with the server at a time. Generally here in a client server communication, at a time the client uh, will be communicated with the server. Client server model is a distributed application. So, that, uh, that uh, the participation task or workload between the providers of the resource or services called the servers and service requesters are called the clients. Clients always requesting the service and servers always know which is uh, providing the providing the uh, the service, providing the uh, whatever the client is requested now which provide the service in a generally client server communication model. In the client server architecture, when the client computer sends a request for a data to the server through the internet, the server accepts the requested process and delivers the data packets requested back to the client. Example of client server model or email, world wide web are the examples of the client server. And client, when you talk the, the client, the word client here, now it means uh, to talking of the person. That means uh, in any organization, the client is always know which is interacting with the, uh, the server uh, for sending the, uh, the information generally. Similarly, in the digital world, a client is a, a computer that is the one host which is capable of the receiving information or using a particular service from the service providers, that is the servers. Servers we can call it as a service providers. The servers are always providing the, the service. The client always requesting the service. Servers, similarly, when you talk the word about the server, it means a person. 
or medium that serves the something. Similarly, in this uh, the digital world, a server is a remote computer which provides the information or access to particular services. So it is basically the client requesting something and the server serving it as long as it is present in the database. Whatever the, uh, the content is present in the server database, so that uh, the, the available uh, the information is uh, the provided to the uh, requested uh, the clients. Here is the diagrammatical representation for the client or uh, the server. Now here the client uh, now which is uh, the, from this uh, the client on uh, the side now uh, phone PT phone other uh, protocol other uh, trace will be considered as a client or PC protocol uh, this uh, this uh, uh, packet uh, trace packet uh, uh, PC packet trace will be considered as a uh, the client and a laptop or uh, the PT so these are all the considered as a client so client is uh, requesting to the server PT so over the network over the network that is a uh, internet over the internet once if it is requesting when once uh, the client uh, sending the request to the other uh, server based on this uh, the request now based on the availability data availability data availability in the uh, server now if the data is available the requested data is available in the server which is a response sending the response over the internet over the, the internet so this is a client server communication and how the browser interacts with the server there are few steps now to follow the interacting with the server as a client user enters the enters the url that is a uniform resource locator of the website or file the browser then the request the dns that is a domain name system server dns uh, serves look up for the address of the web server this dns which responds with the ip address of the web server like this now browser interacts with the server Browser sends over HTTP, HTTPS the request to web server's IP that is provided by the DNS server. HTTP means hypertext transfer the protocol, HTTPS means hypertext transfer protocol secure. That means here with HTTP, HTTPS that means the secure, the information can be uh, securely we can transmit it from the one uh, uh, web uh, the browser to the another web that is a client to a web server web from uh, from uh, client to the client to client to the other uh, server effectively and uh, with the securely we can uh, transmit the the information by using https uh, protocols here server uh, sends over the necessary files of the website that means the server generally what are the necessary files that are required over the website now which is the sending as well as google search if you take the google search in a google search the end users users are requesting the other services the web server the web server means here which is a send over the necessary files whatever whatever searched in the google search now that the files can be uh, sent to the user browser then uh, rendered the files and uh, the website is at the displays the browser means now which is uh, receives the files from server whatever the user is uh, asking so the files are received the files are received uh, from the other uh, server and uh, display to the user that means now which provide the service to the users this rendering is done with the help of the dom that is a document object model interpreter document dom interpreter now you can say it has a dom interpreter document object model interpreter css cascading style sheet interpreter and uh, js engine collaboratively known as a JAT, just in time compilers. Now, by using these uh, interpreters uh, or the compilers, uh, the rendering is uh, done. File, the transmission can be done with the help of these uh, 
interpreters in a communication server to client communication here so it is a user so user here now user at a web side and these are all the dns or the server and web server web here now with the from this other side the user entering the data at google search now the user entering the the data entering the other uh, data means uh, that means the meaning here so making the uh, request to ip address uh, the web server web server now which is making the request whatever the other uh, data here uh, the searching that uh, the searching uh, the searching uh, that can be requested to the web server the content can be requested to the web server the web if, if it is available the requested content is available now the response with the data files to user and dns here immediately here here also the dns now the dns server user request the domain here is the user is requesting the domain name server that is www now whenever the data is entered now it is linked with the domain www dot uh, some google dot uh, com this, this is a domain name. so the domain is linking for handling the data if you want to handle the data the domain in the server now which is a linking and once it is a linking now respond response the ip of the web or the server to the user immediately here the over this this can be this can be done over the internet internet as a protocol only so if the internet as a protocol with help of this uh, internet protocol only this other uh, communication is a uh, possible Without the uh, without the internet, uh, so here this uh, the communication is uh, not uh, possible. That means uh, uh, sending the request and getting the the data file can be done over the internet. And advantages of a client server model. The advantages of the client server models are centralized system with all data in a single place. And client server as uh, a communication, the system so should be the centralized uh, the systems can be uh, maintained server room and remaining the clients can be maintained in different uh, localities and establish the uh, communication between the other uh, clients to server room. cost efficient requires the less uh, the maintenance cost and the data recovery is a uh, possible the capacity of the client and the server can be changed separately here these are the advantages of the client server model and so now we we'll see next uh, disadvantages of the client server model the clients are prone to viruses trojan worms if present in the server or uploaded into the server here server are prone to denial of service attacks dos attacks next uh, disadvantage is data packets may be uh, spoofed or modified during the uh, transmissions over the while transmitting the uh, data packets over the internet uh, so in internet uh, over the internet over the networking now uh, many other uh, people are uh, uh, present in the uh, internet that may be the uh, good people or that is a legitimate uh, the users or uh, the bad other uh, people so if whatever the the data are sending over the internet if the bad other uh, people the bad people are attacked that other uh, data so that means now the bad people now they will hack the information the good people means uh, your friends or your relatives so if your relatives know they they will see your data now they they can take if they, if they attack the your data is so they won't uh, harm the other uh, data if bad other uh, people are uh, if attack the your data so it will be the data loss will happen that is a data packets may be the spoofed the uh, spoofed or modified during the transmission phishing that means uh, so it is attacking phishing is a one type of attacking capturing login as a credentials login credentials uh, uh this as a phishing or uh, the hacking now they will capture the your login as a credentials and entering into the system and they will uh, steal uh, your data whatever the data you are transmitting that uh, the transmitting data can be steal by the, uh, the hackers or other useful information of the user or common and mitm 
MI TM. That is a man in the middle attacks. Or so these are all the common over the network. Over the network here while transmitting the data, all types of the attacks can be uh, done on your data, whatever the data you are transmitting. Next to user datagram protocol. User datagram protocol generally UDP. So is a transport layer protocol. UDP is a part of the internet protocol should now which is referred to as a UDP IP queue. Unlike the TCP transmission control protocol, it is an unreliable and connectionless uh, protocols. So there is no need to establish a connection before data transfers. The UDP helps to establish uh, low latency, low loss tolerating connections over the network. The UDP enables process to process communication and UDP header. UDP header is an 8 byte fixed simple header. So while for the TCP it may vary from 20 bytes to 60 bytes. The first 8 bytes contain all necessary header information and the remaining parts are consisting of the data. UDP port number field number fields or each 16 bytes long. Therefore, the range the range of a port number is defined from 0 to 65535. 65, the port number 0 is reserved. Port number helps to distinguish different users request and processes. Here it is a structure of the UDP header. Now, in this, uh, the structure of the UDP header, which is uh, consisting of the UDP header, the fields are UDP header, UDP data, and uh, source port, destination port. The size of the source port is uh, 16 bits, and uh, destination port is uh, 16 bits. Length is uh, 16 bits, checksum uh, field is 16 bits. Total UDP header, the length is of 8 bytes, so it is a 8 byte UDP header. Source port, if you take the source port, source port is a 2 byte long file, 2 byte long field used to identify the port number of the source. Destination port also, it is a 2 byte long field now which is used to identifying the uh, destination uh, port. That means here identifying the destination. Now the data are the transmitting to uh, which other destination. The data is uh, the coming from uh, which source. That is a source of port number now which is identified. So source, uh, the data is coming. So and so the port other number. So and so other device. Now which is indicate the port number is uh, identifying the uh, source. And a length field. If you take the length field, uh, the length is the length of the UDP user data user data gram protocol including the header and the data. So it is a 16 bits uh, field checksum. Checksum is a 2 bytes long field. It is the 16 bits once uh, completed of the once the completed sum of the UDP headers uh, the pseudo header of the information from IP header and the data padded with the zero octets at the end to make a multiple of two octets and applications of UDP. UDP used for simple request response communications. When the size of the data is very less, now hence uh, there is a lesser concern about flow and error control. It is suitable protocol for multicasting as a UDP which supports the packet as a switching data packet switching now it is supported with uh, this UDP as a protocol this UDP as a protocol is used for some routing update protocols like uh, routing information as a protocol normally normally used for real time applications which cannot tolerate uneven delay between uh, sections of the received messages and UDP is widely used in online gaming where low 
latency, high speed communication is essential for a good gaming experience. Game servers often send the a small frequent packets of the data to the client generally. And UDP is well suited for this other type of other communication as it is fast and lightweighted. Streaming media applications such as IPTV and online radio and video conferencing use UDP to transmit the real time audio and video data. The loss of some packets can be tolerated in the applications. As the data is continuously flowing and does not require the retransmissions. And uh, Vivo IP, voice over internet protocol service. Here, such as uh, Skype and WhatsApp. So it is a voice over internet protocols. WhatsApp, uh, the communication, or the Skype, or the communication. These are all the, uh, these are all the voice over internet uh, protocol community. With help of the, these are the protocol. Now, the communication can be uh, completed. Use uh, UDP for real time voice communications. The delay in voice communication can be noticeable if the packets are delayed due to the congestion control. So, UDP is used to ensure fast and efficient data transmission. DNS, domain name system, also uses uh, UDP for its uh, query responses the messages. DNS queries are typically small and requires a quick response time, making UDP a suitable protocol for this application. And DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So, next application is DHCP. Uses the UDP to dynamically assign the internet protocol address to device on a network. These dynamic host configuration protocol messages are very small and delay caused by the packet loss or retransmission is generally not critical for this other application. The implementations now, if you see, number of the implementations uh, uses the UDP as a transport layer protocol, NTP, network time protocol, DNS, domain name service, boot P, DHCP, NNP, network news uh, as a protocols, quite, uh, quite of the delay as a protocols, TF, TP, or TSP, or IP. So, these are the implementations uh, uses the UDP as a transport layer as a protocol. These are all the, the implementations at, uh, that can be utilized at the uh, transport layer level. And the application layer can do some of the tasks through the UDP. Trace route, record route, timestamp. So, the, this application layer can be do these other tasks through the user datagram protocol, tracing the route, how data packets are transmitting now, which is tracing the best and effective routes for sending the data packet from source to other destination. That is, record the routes now, which is the best other routes, number of other routes are available from one source to other destination here, the number of uh, uh, so routes are available. From that uh, number of routes now, which is recording the best routes, which route uh, reducing the uh, less uh, other time, that means which route uh, having the less uh, other time and space and uh, complexity now, that other route, uh, that route can be uh, considered generally. Timestamp. Time stamp also very less other uh, time stamp. Uh, uh, that type of these uh, routes can be uh, selected for uh, uh, data transmission of the packets. UDP, user datagram, uh, uh, these are the protocols, uh, takes a datagram from network layer, attaches its header and sends it to the user. So, it works uh, very fast. And now, actually the UDP is a null protocol if you remove the checksum field. Now, reducing the requirement of the computer resources and when using the multi-cost or broadcast to transfer. The transmission of the real-time packets mainly in multimedia applications. Now, you can use the real-time packets now 
that can be multimedia or the applications can be used in multimedia application now the packet uh, can be uh, the transmitted uh, effectively that is a video video packets or audio packets uh, or any uh, these are the packets uh, effectively can be uh, the transmitted in multimedia applications java socket programming java socket programming is used for uh, the communication between the applications running on a different java runtime environments java socket programming can be connection oriented or connectionless generally these socket and socket uh, server socket classes are used for connection oriented socket programming and datagram sockets datagram packet classes uh, we are using for connectionless socket program the client in a socket programming must know to to the information that are, that are the ip address of the server and port number with ip address and port number he has now effectively established the as a communication here here now we are going to make one way client and server the communication in this application client sends a messages to the server server reads the messages and prints it here two classes are being used that is sockets and server as a sockets the socket class is used to communicate client and server through this other class we can read and write the messages the server socket class is used at the server side the accept method of the server socket class which blocks the console until the client is connected after the successful connection of the client it returns the instance of the socket at the server side and here this is a socket api diagrammatical representation for socket api client server here what is happening means here now the socket opens the client now it is the socket client side maintaining socket and now we'll do the server side also the socket connection is the required for communicate if you want to communicate from client to other server now client side we have to we have to maintain one socket and server side also we have to maintain one other socket that means here as a binding binding the is uh, binding operation the function call well once if it is uh, uh, calling the binding other function call immediately which is a listen if it is a listen here opening the other listen opening the other listen the server is uh, opens the listen immediately uh, if it is uh, opens the listen immediately now the client uh, connect connection request sent to the server the server is accept the connection request once uh, once if the server accepting the connection request now uh, the client perform the read write operations now here reading the data reading the now it is uh, what what will do the client means which is performing write and read operation that means here the client which is uh, sending data that is a that is a write operation here the server reading the data from the client it is nothing but a read operation and here and write writing means here after reading the server what are the other things what are the uh, client is uh, requested what content is it is uh, uh, required the client what content is required now which is uh, write to again that means uh, sending sending the uh, the required uh, content to the client that is uh, here that can be received the content can be received from server by using the read by using the read function now once the communication is uh, completed read write operations are uh, completed between the client and server now disconnect the service that means end of the files that is a close close means here now which is reading so which is sending the request as the reading is uh, completed the client is sending the request reading is uh, completed so end of the file sending the request as end of the file immediately the server reads the end of the file message whenever see the end of the file message so immediately now which is uh, closing the uh, connection uh, this is about the uh, socket uh, api structure and uh, socket class a socket is a 
simple and end point of our communication between the missions two missions the socket class can be used to create a socket so that is the methods used in a socket class is the methods are public input stream get input stream and uh, the meaning of the get input stream the method is which returns the input stream attached with the socket whatever the input is receiving from the user so that can be returns and a public output stream get output stream function that is a get output put get output stream function which returns the output stream which will be attached with the socket public synchronized void close now closes these are the socket that is a important uh, methods now here these uh, synchronized close void close method get output streaming method get input the streaming method these are all the, the important uh, at uh, socket uh, class side socket sides isn't it generally here now which is the uh, important the methods socket server socket class the server socket class can be used to create a server socket this objects is used to establish a communication with the client the important methods are for this uh, server socket class is public socket accept now which is uh, returns the socket and uh, this method establishes a connection between the server and client by using the accept method now uh, we can establish the, uh, the connection between the client and uh, server public synchronized void close that means which is closes the server socket which is closes the server socket here these are about the server socket of the class like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates